Hey, what's up everyone? John at the Geek here, and today I'm going to be doing a review of the Android 2.2 update for the Samsung Captivate, uh, better known as the Samsung Galaxy S. Right, so I just uh, updated my phone here to the official slash unofficial Froyo 2.2, and I'm going to go through some of the um, features that were added, some of the likes and the dislikes. Alright, so uh, the first thing I'm going to go through um, is the actual interface. It's pretty much the same. Still has the, uh, the, uh, the Samsung built-in TouchWiz. So what TouchWiz is, it's the interface uh, that Samsung has built that goes on top of or replaced the interface that Android built, the stock interface. Um, if you've seen my Google Nexus video, you'll know that uh, when you scroll through all of the apps that you have on your um, phone, it goes vertically top to bottom and it has that cool kind of 3D effect. Uh, so Samsung has built their own interface and it's called the um, TouchWiz. Right? So uh, a lot of different manufacturers have their own interface like uh, HTC has a really good one, my favorite one actually, which is called the uh, Sense UI. And then uh, Motorola has their own, and then Android, of course, has their own. Um, the Google um, phones, like the Google Nexus One and the Google Nexus S, uh, they have their own interface. So, uh, and I like those, I prefer those actually. I don't really like this one because of the, if you notice the icons here, they have a little square around it. Uh, I don't like that. I like it being uh, transparent uh, for the icons. All right. So uh, that's a little bit about um, the applications uh, folder area. Uh, another thing too is that uh, it's the Samsung or it's an AT&T branded phone. So there's a lot of AT&T branded uh, software on here, which I don't really like and I can't get rid of. All right, but whatever, nothing I can do about that really. All right, so um, another thing I'm gonna show you is the keyboard here. Um, and this is where one of the first dislikes uh, uh, about what's here. Uh, basically the keyboard, I used to have the Android keyboard and now it was replaced, it was taken away actually. And the only keyboard that I have now is the Samsung keyboard and the swipe keyboard. Um, the swipe is that little connect the letters little thing that you can do and I'll show you that in a second. But um, I don't really like this type of keyboard especially when I go to like my question marks and my other um, buttons here and uh, I just don't like the way that this keyboard is laid out and there's too many buttons that I really don't need. I just need letters that's all I need and and um, that's why I don't like this keyboard but one thing that I did notice about this particular keyboard is this little blue little marker thing here and it allows me to scroll it's kind of like the iPhone's little magnifying glass but it's cool because I get to move the cursor wherever I want now before you had to like tap and sometimes you didn't tap correctly um, and you wouldn't go to the right spot in the letter if you wanted to erase something but now you can actually uh, click and drag the little cursor around which is really nice oops right so that's a cool feature that I like but I don't like the fact that they took away my Android keyboard right so that's uh, one thing about the keyboard another thing I'm gonna tell you about is the uh, brightness setting uh, now there's uh, aside from the low medium high there's also the auto so 2.2 has the auto if you can see the little a there that means it's auto adjust so when it's light outside bright outside it will uh, make the screen full brightness and if it's dark like it is now it'll t t take it down um, the brightness right 
Uh, so another thing too is the drop down and uh, these buttons up here before there was never a auto rotation now there's the auto rotation toggle switch so I can turn off auto rotation meaning uh, if I turn it to the side it won't uh, do a landscape mode and it'll keep it on here All right um, another part of the aesthetics was the uh, live wallpapers they added a couple of new live wallpapers I don't really care too much about the live wallpapers but they did a beach and the uh, spectrum right okay so um, on to the best part oh another thing too is that they added color to all these icons here so it's all color and they also allowed uh, apps to be installed onto the SD card uh, prior to 2.2 apps can only be installed on the phone now you have the option of installing apps onto the SD card right and actually let me show you the keyboards here see I only have two keyboards the swipe and the Samsung keyboard that's the only options that I have I used to have the Android one and that's the one that I want if anybody out there knows how to get that Android keyboard back on here um, do let me know I do like that keyboard so I'll show you what swipe is actually oh here's a tips on how to use uh, swipe but essentially if I do a if I want to do uh, the word brown I click on B move my thumb around and it spells the word brown so if I want to do fox I just drag my finger around It works pretty well, but it actually works um, extremely well. But I, I still don't like it. I'm, I'm more of a tappy click kind of, and you can only use, you know, one. I think I can do just as fast or even faster doing a two finger with the Android keyboard, right? And then if I wanted to do double letters, you're supposed to go to the letter and say, do a little squiggly. And so there's two E's right there, beep. And then here's loop and do just, oops. If you don't get it right, um, it brings up suggestions. So you can type that. All right, so yeah, that's the uh, swipe keyboard. All right, so another demo I wanna try to do actually is going to be the flash. We're gonna try flash. hopefully it'll play this little animation here is uh, supposed to be playing and this right here is going so oops um, that little animation right there says it's loading up I don't know if it's because of the phone or my internet or what but it should be loading up. I didn't really choose the best site because the site is really heavy. Alright, yeah, so there's Flash playing. That's an advertisement. This is a really heavy, Flash heavy page too. There's like all kinds of stuff going on loading up. I didn't really pick the best site. I mean, it's a cool site. yeah so that's flash it's a little choppy but again I think it's because um, of the uh, of the um, page here it's it's really really heavy All right so there's flash 
And then the last thing that I was going to show you, actually, is my favorite part. This is the mobile AP right here. So this is mobile access point. Enables other devices to connect via 3G network on your phone. And if you've seen my other video on testing the 3G network, um, it works out pretty well. So when I click on that, uh, I have mobile access point settings and this is my SSID that I use and I'm encrypting it uh, and this is the password I can also hide the SSID if I wanted to um, that's pretty much straightforward I can turn it on <clears throat> oh if I do turn it on I have to turn off Wi-Fi it can't be oh, uh, access point and, and be connected to a, a Wi-Fi access point at the same time so I have to turn off the uh, Wi-Fi so the thing about this is that it turns this phone into a wireless access point kinda like your router right so uh, it connects to the internet through 3G and then it shares that internet connection with other devices um, using the Wi-Fi that's built in here so it becomes the uh, access point and so uh, the thing about this is the one caveat is that it drains your battery extremely there's a warning that comes up that says your battery is going to be drained and even if I have it plugged in um, if I'm doing uh, uh, Wi-Fi tethering uh, as they call it sometimes um, it drains the battery faster than I can uh, recharge it so even though I have it plugged in and I'm doing and I'm sharing the internet and I'm browsing the web or doing whatever getting a uh, internet traffic going it drains the battery really quick so at a full charge even with it plugged in probably about like three hours of wireless uh, access point mobile AP I can do on here so um, yeah that but it has helped me out a few times um, not having a Wi-Fi hotspot anywhere and connecting to it there's also tethering which means that I can plug this device straight into my computer uh, via USB and then I have to configure my computer to pick this up as a modem uh, for that you need the drivers for the phone and things to work out and, uh, your computer should actually pick it up uh, as a um, networked device or modem or a, a network card or something like that and you'll be able to get internet through there through the wire rather than wirelessly all right, so uh, that's pretty much the the settings. There's a few more that I haven't really tinkered around with, or I don't really care for uh, much. Oh, and uh, one last thing before I go, um, there's an app that comes built in now, and it's called the Task Manager, and this is really great. I recommend um, ditching the Advanced Task Killer; those things are crap. Battery ends up getting drained a lot more. But uh, with the 2.2 on this uh, Samsung Galaxy, they um, have a great task manager in here where you can uninstall uh, your stuff or you can see what's running. If I had apps running, I can end all of them. If I go to RAM management, there's a level one uh, which clears the inactive processes, stuff that's not running but it's in RAM. Or I can do a level two and it clears um, stuff that is running and in the background and stuff that's inactive and I can clear that uh, and it's really great shows you a summary here of everything your internal external memory how much personal data you've got stored on here and how much space programs are taking up right so it's a really great um, built-in feature that came on this phone the next thing I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to pretty much get rid of this even though I just had it for a few days. I'm actually going to apply something called the Synogen mod which is a really cool um, uh, custom ROM so it's pretty much like uh, how the uh, Samsung puts their touch whiz over Android well there's this other thing called the Synogen mod and uh, it's very much like uh, the gingerbread interface uh, that lays up on top of this so I'm gonna try that out and I'll have a video on that on how to do that and also how to root your phone so uh, stay tuned for that and as always thanks for watching this is Johnny the Geek peace